Final Fantasy IX is a gem that many fans hold close to their hearts. Released in the year 2000, this classic game brought us back to the series' roots with its medieval fantasy setting, charming characters, and a story that's resonated with themes of life, death, and self-discovery. But that begs the question, does Final Fantasy IX actually deserve a remake? Does it need to happen? That's what this video is all about today. As always, before we get started, don't forget to like and subscribe, and comment down below, let me know your thoughts on a possible remake of Final Fantasy IX. Do we need one? I'd be interested to hear. So before we talk about if this game deserves to be remade, let's actually talk about if it was to happen, how it actually would happen by breaking it down into a couple different categories. Let's go. So before we even consider doing a Final Fantasy IX remake, we have to look at doing it in one of two ways. First, let's look at a possible classic presentation. Similar camera angles to the original game, but with updated visuals. But at the same time, we don't really need that because the Mogiri mod exists. And if you don't know the Mogiri mod, it's more or less a fan project that you know is trying to propel this game forward while being faithful to the original with graphical upscales, some slight quality of life tweaks. That's, that's just it in a nutshell, more or less. So let's just pretend that in an alternate universe, the Mogiri mod doesn't exist and Square wants to go this route with a remake. I think that would be okay and that would also probably condense the project into one part with just a one-to-one -one remake but with just some visual upgrades. The second interpretation would be a more modern interpretation similar to Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth or Final Fantasy 16. Seamless traversal from town to town, bringing those towns to life on a bigger scale would be amazing. But at the same time, consider how many parts this game would be. Do we really want to play Final Fantasy IX over a period of what could be maybe almost nine years? I mean, look at Final Fantasy VII Remake. 2020 was when the first one came out. 2024 is when Rebirth came out. Bear in mind that game was announced back in 2015, so it's a long development period for a game like this. Do we want to wait? I don't want to wait. So I'm quite happy with the classic presentation, but we can also entertain some ideas here for a more modern interpretation. One big thing that I think a lot of people would really love to see, me included, and I've seen a few things online about this, and that's a potential remake fleshing out characters more. Some of these characters could really benefit from deeper and more complex development by expanding their backstories, some relationships, some personal journeys, all of which would really bring modern richness to all of the characters' unique personalities. So here's just a couple characters that I think could really benefit from this, and I could you know, I've got blurbs about all these characters, but I, I can't talk for 45 minutes here talking about the growth of each character. So let's just look at Freya. I mean, for the remake, it could reveal more of her past with Sir Fratley, which I think would be really cool, adding a little bit more nuance to her sense of loss and loneliness, deepening some of her interactions with the other party members. I think her emotional resilience is great, her quiet strength is great, but it could shine even brighter showing how her journey isn't really about reuniting with Fratley, but it's more about reclaiming her sense of purpose and finding new family among her friends. Amaranth is another character that I loved back in the day just because I thought he looked cool, but you know, I, I've since seen that a lot of people don't really care for him because he's just there. So expanding on his background would be really cool and his philosophy of solitude, expanding on it in a way that's more thorough and giving him scenes that actually demonstrate the isolation that he feels due to his beliefs. It, you know, he doesn't have to be a loner, but if he if he's going to be a loner, we, I think we should understand a little bit more better why he feels that way. A remake could provide opportunities for him to confront these ideas through interactions with the party, showing how he struggles to find a place where he belongs and eventually how he grows to accept the importance of the connections with his friends in the party. Now, I know a lot of you love Steiner, and I do as well, but what if we could make it better? Steiner's journey could be expanded with scenes that showcase the dedication to duty in a new light alongside his eventual struggle with reconciling his loyalty to Alexandria and his evolving view of Zidane and Garnett, watching him gradually shed his rigid perspective and become a more open and understanding person would be really powerful. I mean, it's great in the original game, but imagine if we see more moments that show his conflicting feelings about his role as a knight and his personal beliefs. And we could even roll in General Beatrix as well. She should be a playable character. That would be cool. Let's let's see more of that love interest early on. Let's let's give Steiner a real moment to shine. I, I, I want to see more of that. This could all be expanded with some really great voice acting as well. I'm not one to guess what, who should be doing what. I'll leave that for you guys down below in the comments. So let me know who should voice these characters. I, I'll throw my hat in the ring. For who? I don't know. You tell me. Now, speaking of expanding on stuff, let's also talk about expanding on the world. 
A remake of Final Fantasy IX could expand on its world by building both on lore and environmental detail, which is going to immerse us even further into the vibrant settings of Gaia. The world of Gaia could be brought to life with a richer history, deeper cultural intricacies, and more expansive regions that would make the journey feel both fresh and familiar in a way. So let's just showcase a couple cities here. Alexandria to start off here could be reimagined to include more districts, more hidden areas that showcase its dual nature both as a grand capital and also a home to ordinary citizens. By expanding on the scope of Alexandria, the remake could give you and me a sense of its place as a powerful but yet troubled kingdom. Bustling markets, serene gardens, and places where citizens could gather to discuss anything, you know, political turmoil or power shifts or whatever. These additions could really set the stage for Garnett's heritage, give it more significance as we witness firsthand the kingdom that she's meant to protect. Lindblom, you know, one of my favorite areas in the original game, the bustling hub of technology and commerce, could also receive a few more layers of exploration and lore. The city's industrial prowess could be emphasized by giving us access to workshops, engineering academies, and innovative inventions that define the forward-thinking culture of the city. This could also be a hub for side quests that are going to introduce NPCs who discuss past conflicts, showing how Lindblom has thrived while balancing progress with tradition. And one of my favorite scenes of Final Fantasy IX on disc one is Bermesia. You know, that scene where we finally confront the queen, we see General Beatrix, we see Kuja for the first time. Bermesia's rainy and somber setting could reveal a lot more about the warrior traditions of the Bermesians with training grounds, past heroes, statues of them, you know, and sacred sites that really emphasize the devotion to combat and honor. That would be amazing. And if we want to look at some of the more foreboding and atmospheric and more mystical settings i mean we have terra and the life of tree i mean we could see a lot more there terra in particular could introduce new types of architecture and colors even gravity shifts to convey its status as a lost alien realm and the life of tree could reveal secrets about its creation and purpose showing its role as both a life force and a destructive entity i think these expansions for those two in particular really create a stronger connection between the world and the story's cosmic themes immersing us in the mystery and the scale of of Gaia's creation. Now, hang on, before we get to the next point, did you guys know that almost 90% of the people that watch my channel on the regular are not subscribed? So if you like deep dives on specific topics or ratings or ranking videos, or maybe even some top tens, top fives, I would love to have you here week in and week out. Anyway, on to the battle system, maybe the most interesting part of a possible remake for Final Fantasy IX. Now, the most important part here to talk about when talking about a remake is how do we do the battle system? So of course, if we go in the classic route, it's gonna be turn-based. How do we make the turn-based battle system more exciting, more engaging? It's really hard for me to think of a way that this could be expanded upon other than maybe doing some timing-based inputs that might create some sense of urgency, allowing us to feel more involved in executing powerful moves. This could be especially impactful for like the trance abilities, allowing each character to create brief bursts of high impact action without taking full control away from the player, or maybe doing an adaptable difficulty setting that could cater to players who favor the pure turn-based feel while allowing some more casual players to embrace just the experience overall. I, I don't know, it's, it's hard for me to say specifically if you have any more ideas on in a way that the battle system could be fleshed out as the original ATB core system here from Final Fantasy IX let me know. But I think if we were to go a more modern interpretation, wow, I think we definitely have to go Final Fantasy VII Rebirth style. Maybe it could also work for Final Fantasy XVI's battle system if we were only playing as Zidane. I mean, Zidane is super quick. He's just small in stature, so it could be really satisfying to play like that. But I think Final Fantasy VII Rebirth has really perfected a way forward for the series, so I would love to see them borrow that. Of course, we're going to have the whole party with us as well so we want to allow these other characters to shine i mean could you even imagine just walking from area to area on the world map steiner and vivi and garnett following you behind and uh, you know all of a sudden we find ourselves in a battle and you can just switch between the characters effortlessly i would love to see the interplay between those characters as, as well so i mean for as much as i would love a true one-to-one -one remake of final fantasy 9 i also don't want myself to have this experience denied <laughs> because i just love final fantasy 9 and i would love to see it fleshed out in this way so let me know down below in the comments what way you would love to see this battle system in a remake and of course lastly do we need to have final fantasy 9 remade that's the argument that i'm really interested in your thoughts so let me know 
I love Final Fantasy IX. I love the original game. And no part of me has ever felt that it needs to be remade until I saw the Mogiri mod. You know, that fan project reimagining this game with some quality of life stuff. I think that's the definitive way to play this game. So with that being out there, I really don't think it needs to be done even more. But the problem is, is accessibility. Not everybody's going to have a Steam Deck to play it. Not everybody's going to have, you know, Final Fantasy IX on a PC and want to install the Mogiri mod. That's just an accessibility thing. On the other hand, having a brand new game reimagined on modern consoles that would be accessible for everybody would be really great because that's a story that I want more people to play and involve themselves in. So Final Fantasy IX is already considered a complete package with its heartfelt story, memorable soundtrack, and quirky charm. Remaking it risks altering a style and tone that is integral to its identity. And for many fans, the potential loss of that is a major concern. So in the end, it might be less about whether it needs a remake and more about how it could be done respectfully, honoring the original while adding quality life improvements that could bring this classic to life for new fans and old fans alike. I felt the same way when Final Fantasy VII Remake was announced. I was worried about how they would do the battle system, but now two installments into a trilogy, I think they've perfected Final Fantasy in a way that we didn't see coming. So why wouldn't we allow Final Fantasy IX to have its moment too? So those are my thoughts and I'm sticking to them. I would love to see a Final Fantasy IX Remake Will it ever happen? I don't know. Supposedly, I guess we'll have to wait and see. So let me know down below in the comments your thoughts on a possible remake. How would you love to see it done? How would you like the battle system? How would you like the graphics? I'm really interested to hear what everybody thinks on a remake. So thanks for watching and we'll see you again on the next video. Bye-bye.